Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little speed test here between the Samsung Galaxy J5 2017 edition and the Sony Xperia XZ. So uh, first of all, what we can see on both these two devices is they have a little bit of a different designs, even though it's kind of similar in many ways, they kind of both have this aluminum metal, kind of stainless steel, whatever material it is. It kind of looks very, very similar. And I think this is a little bit of glass here on the downside, I think. Uh, both have very very cool interesting cameras, uh, very very nice designs on both these two devices uh, But this one is a little bit more of a uh, sort of like a tube design Which is pretty cool in a way uh, It's very very nice actually and they have a Sony Xperia Exit Premium also available and This one over here more rounded off design which is very very nice. Also, on the home uh, side, on the ho home uh, side, we can see here we have a home button with the fingerprint sensor built in. This one only screen. So let's go. Of course, we do have um, uh, their own uh, Sony's own UI, which is running very very nice. But Sony devices are famous for being <laughs> loading up slow. Is it gonna lose this one also? Oh my god. Sony, you truly suck. Look at this. Sammy Boy is up and running. Mid range device. I'm not sure what it is with Sony and slow devices, but they're famous for it. Uh, but they still have, I mean, I gotta give credit, they almost have this G6 UI here. Uh, with this kind of animation here, but they also have this um, kind of grayish and white theme here. Something's going with the blue and white theme. Uh, and I do enjoy something more here because they have this quick brightness slider up here. Here I kind of have to pull this one fully down. It's extremely annoying actually. You know, uh, but um, yeah, and if you take a look at the Kind of like here, we also have themes built in, same as this one, wallpapers and themes. You do have the stock themes in here, tropical and a bunch of cool ones. If you take a look at the basic design here. Uh, L I hate this Sony UI here. Kind of like ugly uh, blue color, which doesn't match with the green color, which is too bright. Here something has made way better colors. Uh, which is a little bit more synchronized, so it looks used a little better. And of course, Samsung's keyboard is obviously superior to uh, Sony's keyboard, which kind of sucks. I think it's the Swift keyboard, which is just very boring, you know. But it's running on Android 7.1.1, so gotta give kudos there to uh, Sony. This one's only running on Android 7.0, but then again, remember, this is a mid range device. But then again, also the S8 is also running on uh, Android 7.0 and it hasn't gotten the uh, Android 7.1.1 update or even Android 7.1 update or the brand new Android 8.0 beta. So yeah, quickly a bit checking out. If you enjoyed, have a great day.